Brooks Williams of ThriveHolistic.com in Pleasanton, California, and I'm here to show you how to grind nuts in a food processor. To get started, you'll need a food processor, desired nuts of choice, and a spatula. Before we get started, let me give you a few tips. Your nuts will grind better if they are cold. I recommend keeping them in the refrigerator or freezer for several hours before grinding. Secondly, you don't want to fill the processor too full, so I recommend using about one to one and a half cups of nuts at a time. Grinding too many nuts in the food processor will produce uneven pieces. So you want to take the lid off of your food processor and make sure that you have the S blade. Next, we're going to put our nuts into the food processor. We're going to take the pulse button and turn it on, then off, then on, then off, until we reach the desired grind consistency. If you over-process your nuts, you will cause them to heat up and release their natural oils, creating a nut butter of sorts. Soft nuts, such as macadamias, walnuts, pecans, and pistachios are higher in natural oils and break down a lot easier than harder nuts, such as Brazil nuts, hazelnuts, and cashews. Ground nuts can turn rancid a lot easier than whole nuts, so it is recommended that you store them in an airtight container in the refrigerator or freezer. If your recipe calls for it, you can grind other dry ingredients with your nuts in the food processor, such as flour, spices, and sugar. But I do not recommend grinding your nuts with wet ingredients in the food processor because the nuts will not grind evenly. Also, a good rule of thumb is for every cup of nuts that you grind, it will yield about a half to two thirds of a cup of ground nuts. Ground nuts are wonderful on top of salads, sundaes, cereal, or used as a coating or in baked goods. Whatever you use them for, I hope that these tips proved helpful. This has been Chef Lisa Books Williams wishing you many blessings and joyful eating.